Hi, Thomas Campbell here with Second Swing down here at, in Phoenix at Ping. I'm here with Marty Jerison. We just got the chance to hit the G410 irons here. Really, really good feedback from, from Marty here on, on the new clubs. Yeah, so some of the things we were uh, looking at with your launch conditions is uh, for a iron that goes really high, uh, it had an ample amount of spin, which is very important. There's a lot of kind of distance-minded irons in the marketplace where sometimes, you, you, I'm sure you guys have, have seen it, yep. Thomas, is your spin can get too low. And uh, when it's too low in an iron, you don't have the ball speed there, obviously, you know, the, you won't get as much lift and rise out of the ball fly. You'll lose stopping power. You'll lose some of the consistency that comes with it. So that's definitely one of the things we focused on. We saw it in, in, in your trajectories here on TrackMan was maintaining an ample amount of spin giving you that good gapping, that good stopping power, which was a lot of fun. I think one of the other fun things, you got the pitching wedge there. We notice is how tight your spin and your your carry distances were. Yep. And you know, here we are in, in Phoenix today, we had a little a little rain and dewy morning. You know, and a lot of that we can attribute to the research and the hard work we've done uh, with the friction, with the wedges, with the machine grooves in there, the new hydro pearl finish uh, helps with consistency. It's 200% more consistent wet conditions than without having that on there. Yep. So it's kind of fun to experience that in real life and get you to validate it here on the radar. Yeah, I really, really liked um, the suspend numbers. Really what I've noticed when I have been testing other game improvement irons is that that spin number has dropped. And to see the spin six to 7,000 with the seven iron with the, with the 410 line, I was really impressed by that. So that really, really stood out to me. Yeah. Yeah, with your 7-iron, I think you're averaging right around 6,500, yep. 6,600. Yep. Uh, which at your ball speed, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. You yep. know, and lie to gap them, and, and you hit a few 4-irons out there, and uh, even on a chilly morning today, you were roasting some out there two, in the 230 range, 225 range, which is, which is pretty nice. Yeah, they're going pretty far. <laughs> Other piece of that, they'll fly very, very straight as well. So yeah. not only will they go on far, they'll yeah. fly really straight. So yeah. I was really impressed with how straight they were. Yeah. So color code, line angle fitting, uh, statically, uh, you measure out at blue. But uh, obviously from a dynamic standpoint, you played it black color code. That's what we've had out here uh, today and uh, produced very clean divots, pattern, very good sound, centeredness of contact was pretty good. Uh, traje trajectory was straight, if anything, you like to see it falling a little left with your irons? Yep, just a little bit and it really just flew pretty straight overall. Just not much curve, if anything, maybe that one yard to the left, which was perfect. Yeah, that was, it was. Yeah, that was excellent. Yeah. So, yeah. what was your impression of the size and shape and how they looked down the plane? So, looking down at it, the wedges they didn't, didn't look too large. That, that, that was really really nice to look at. That obviously being in that game improvement category, it's still nice to have a lot of. I have a lot of customers that would say, I don't like the look of this big chunky iron of stuff that other manufacturers may offer. Yeah. Looking down at it, nice and clean, nice clean shape, and not too large, which was really nice. How about uh, the sound and feel? Sound and feel. So it was interesting because the feel was it was pretty solid, but at the same time it felt soft. So yeah. it was like intriguing. Again, a lot of game improvement category can feel pretty solid and too too harsh on, on the hands. Yeah. Um, so I think that was a combination of fact. It was spinning a little bit more. It felt like a club face. It just, it was reacting better. So yeah. it automatically felt like it was nice and soft. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we try to deliver is, is, is an iron that when you hit it, it speaks to distance, but it has a little damping built into it. And yep. it's always fun to uh, figure out how, you know, people describe that in their own way. And uh, that was fun to be able to, to experience that here in, uh, in real life as well. So yep. overall? Overall, excellent clubs. Nice to get a chance to hit them, hit them off the grass as opposed to yeah. hitting inside off a mat off in Minnesota. So it was yeah. really nice. Really, really great turf direction. I yeah. really liked it.